Hello everybody, this is Mr. Atkins. I am a gear up coordinator at McConaughey High School. I wanted to bring you guys a little uh, experiment today that you can do uh, just with household items to talk about some science that's actually behind some stuff. I've seen this as a little like a bar um, experiment in the past where you're trying to get water from a plate into a cup without touching the plate. So that's what we're gonna do right now. To help us today, I have two assistants, beautiful assistants, Sydney and Randy. These are my daughters. I have Hi. Randy and Sydney. All right, so we have a plate here and typically you would have water already in the plate, but I went ahead and just set this up beforehand so it would take a little bit less time. So Sydney, can you pour a little bit of water on that plate for me, please? A little bit more that should be good all right our goal is to get the water from the bowl from that small plate into the cup that Randy is holding show me the cup all right so to do this we are going to put a candle in the water and light the candle A little windy out here. Okay, the fire fire is going. Okay, Randy, go ahead and put the cup on top and let it sit. Now, what should happen here is as this fire is burning, it's burning up the oxygen that's inside the cup, and it's going to start pulling water from the outside of the cup to the inside of the cup. Like little vacuum. That's right. It creates a little vacuum, like Sydney just said. Okay, the flame is getting ready to go out. Should Let's see if we can see the water level start to increase inside the glass. You can. Look at that. Keeps going up and up and up. Kind of like a wiser. So we put a little bit too much water on the bowl, on the plate, but that's okay. A little bit. But you can definitely see the water inside the cup is higher than the water on the outside of the cup. So let's talk about why this happens. All right, this happens because when you start to burn the oxygen that's inside the cup, it creates a little vacuum because those air, those oxygen molecules inside there are bouncing around at first. They're really um, pretty condensed. And then as they get burnt up, there's less of them. So there's a lot less space. So it's trying to reduce the amount of volume inside the cup. And the way it does that is it pulls whatever's possible it pulls whatever's possible from outside the cup to the inside of the cup. So, fun little experiment, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thank you. See you next time.